an act so brutal it is still remembered today, more than 1,000 years later. It was December 999 AD in the French province of Anjou. The town square of the city of Angers was filling with local Angevans whom had travelled far and wide to witness a heinous act upon the 30-year-old Countess Elizabeth de Vendôme, wife of Falk III of Anjou. An act so brutal it is still remembered today, more than 1,000 years later. Falk III, who was born in 972 AD, always seemed to be one of the most emblematic people to emerge from the Middle Ages. Falk was Count of Anjou and inherited the title at the age of just 17 when his father died. He quickly became the most feared figure in France, known as Falk Nera or Le Noir, the Black, because of his savage temperament, violent destruction of his enemies and other savage acts. Yet despite this, or more probably because of it, he was also known for his immense piety, his pilgrimages, these two competing aspects of folk seem to be emblematic of the dictomy of the Middle Ages, an era famed for its tremendous art inspired by religion and tremendous bloody wars. Elizabeth de Vendôme was the daughter of Bucard I, the old, the venerable and born around the year 979. Her marriage to Falk III was probably not kind, and the marriage produced at least one child, a daughter named Adele, born circa 995 AD. The savagery of the Middle Ages was far from its only aspect. The fact is that life was often short, hard, and brought to a painful and brutal end, and Falk III embodied this greatly. His reputation never waned. Falk was a notorious robber, baron who would stop at nothing to increase his territory or defend his interests. This was fairly run of the mill amongst his peer group. It was kind of what medieval lords did, but Falk always did far, far worse. The historian Henry Fichtenor has this to say about him. Folk of Anjou, plunderer, murderer, robber, and swearer of false oaths, a truly terrifying character of fiendish cruelty, founded not one, but two large abbeys. This folk was filled with unbridled passion a temper directed to extremes. Whenever he had the slightest difference with a neighbour, he rushed upon his lands, ravaging, pillaging, raping and killing. Nothing could stop him, least of all the commandments of God. Yet in that quote lies the element where folk became even more interesting this man who raped, pillaged, murdered and broke oaths spent the rest of his time in acts of astonishing pilgrimage and piety. This man who made pilgrimages to the Holy Land in 1002, 1007 and 1038 may be as an act to atone for his sins. One act in particular has made him particularly infamous, his murder of his wife. This infamous act occurred in December 999 when he discovered that his wife, 
Elizabeth of Vendôme had allegedly committed adultery with a local farmer before establishing the veracity of this accusation, Falk had his wife arrested, had her dressed in her wedding gown and taken to the town square of Angers, where crowds were already gathering. There he had her tied to a post and at her feet lay kindling. He watched menacingly from the crowd as his commanded executioner lit the fire around her. She was burned at the stake that cold December day, burned alive in her wedding dress, her screams of mercy growing louder and louder as the flames licked ever higher, burning and blistering the skin from her body.